Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I can't believe it is 2022. This is the first TJ Maxx and Marshalls shop with me video of the year, which is pretty exciting. I did go to the store actually right before I left for my trip, so that is some of the footage. And then I did go to the store today and got the rest of the footage. So it isn't really this past week. It is like right before I left and then today. So it's kind of like two weeks in one-ish, but really only like two days. So I found a lot of products, some really exciting finds. So I can't wait to show you guys what I found. If you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's go shopping. First up, we have a new product from Jouer. This is the High Pigment Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Sloan, and then they had a bunch of other shades in the back as well. They have Tulum, they have Seychelles, and then I think another Sloan in the back as well. So they had a bunch of shades of these. So this is a new find. Oh no, that's Ibiza. Sorry, that I just dropped. <laughs> and then they had this High Pigment Pearl Lip Gloss. This might be the same thing. This is $4.99, yeah. So this is Seychelles, so this is a kind of medium pinkish nude. It does have a slight shimmer to it. This one is Tulum, which is a darker berry-ish shade with some shimmer. And then this is Sloan. So this is a cream. This one is gorgeous. I love that shade. And then they had these Longwear Lip Creams, which is a liquid lipstick, which I'm pretty sure we have seen before. They have Abergine, and then they have... Mirror, Saint Germain, Abergine again. So they had quite a few of those ones as well. And then this was actually a different one. This was hiding. This is a lip gloss with coconut oil. And this is in the shade Saint Germain for $4.99. And this is the shade right here. So this one's a little bit lighter than the other cream shade. I'm so close to buying that. <laughs> they had two of these Jouer Longwear Lip Cream Liners for $4.99. They have Aubergine and Rose Shimmer. It was pretty exciting. And then they had these from MAC, the Love Me Liquid Lip Colors. They had three different shades, What a Doll, Defy Me, and It's All Me, all kind of rosy, reddish shades, and these are all for $8.99. I wanted to show you guys these because these are popping back up. These are from Pretty Vulgar. These are lip glosses and I think liquid lipsticks over there, the Poisonous Pout. So they have a bunch of these shades. These are here for $6.99. So Pretty Vulgar has just been popping back up in the stores, but they have a lot of these products. They also have more of these BH Cosmetics Mrs. Bella Lip Gleams. So they had a bunch of these shades here as well, which we've seen, but they're restocking a bunch of shades for $3.99. They had this from Lime Crime. This is the Venus palette. This is the smaller one, the 8-pan palette. I don't think we've seen this one yet, and this is $12.99. Over here, they have a bunch of the Zoeva foundations. So if you are looking for this, definitely check out your stores. They had a bunch of them at my store, and this is one store, obviously, that they had so many of these in all the different shades for $6.99. So definitely check out your stores. They had more of the Becca foundations and the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizers. So they just keep getting restocks in these foundations. Over here, they had a bunch more of the Lime Crime palettes, so they have the Venus 2 as well, and then they have the regular Venus, which I just showed you. So they have an entire rack of these palettes if you are looking for either one. And then they had this in BH Cosmetics, the Glowing in Grease Highlighter palette, which we have seen. The beautiful Barcelona palette, that's an eyeshadow palette. And then the London palette, so a bunch of these BH Cosmetics travel palettes see around the world, or I don't know what the collection is called. They had a new shade of this MAC Glow Play blush. We actually haven't seen this in quite a while. And this is in Totally Synced, so it is a little bit of a lighter shade. And this is here for $12.99. And then I wanted to show you, they have so many of these I Heart Revolution donut palettes. So they have multiple different shades. They had... The older ones and then new ones keep popping up so it looks like they have all of them and then they also had a bunch of those unicorn hearts highlighters the blushing hearts the peach and glow bunch of i heart revolution 
New product from e.l.f. This is the Electric Mood and Tiana Major 9. This is a, I think, lip liner and lip gloss. And this is here for $3.99. New product from Lancome. This is the Waterproof Liner in Noir. So that is black and that's $8.99. And then they had another one in 04 Prune, so that is a darker purplish. They had these from e.l.f. This is the Booster Drops, the Sunkissed ones. These are $3.99, and then they also had these. These are the Hydrating Drops. So I think you can put these in your foundation or primer for $3.99. New mascara. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Mascara. This is for volume and length for $3.99. And then this was pretty cool. They have new packaging for Batiste dry shampoo. I think it's new packaging. It's just very different from the original. And this is $8.99, same price. But it is smaller than the original. So I don't know if that's just new packaging or this is a different product. I was a little bit confused. So let me know if you know the difference between these two. They have this set from e.l.f. This is the Electric Mood Blush and Sponge Set. It had brush and sponge set. It has three brushes and one sponge in there. So they have two eyeshadow brushes and then a stipple brush and then the face sponge. And this set is $7.99. And they had this brush from Morphe, the M434. And it looks like an eyeshadow brush. It is a dual fiber brush. And this is $3.99. It is the blending buffer brush. This one was interesting. They are restocking the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana Cream. This is $12 on clearance. I haven't seen this one in a while. And then they also had this product from Philosophy. This is the Bubbly Shower Gel and Bath and Shampoo, actually. I love this bottle because it actually looks like a champagne bottle. I thought that's so cute. And this one is on clearance for $4. And then they had this product from the Body Shop. This is the Carrot Cream Moisturizer on clearance for $4.50. I don't think I've seen the Body Shop in a while. New product from the Friends and Revolution collection. This is the Rachel Eyeshadow Palette, which is pretty exciting for a Friends fan. This is $4.99. And then they had this product from Too Faced. This is the Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow. And this is in Warm and Fudgy. And you can see the color on the screen right there. And this is $6.99. Another product from Too Faced, this is the Hangover RX Pillow Balm. So this is a lip balm. It's ultra nourishing. And this is here for $5.99. Over in brushes, they have brushes from Car Beauty, which I don't think we have seen before. So they have quite a few over here. And they had a few different ones. They had this, the K33 Blending Brush. This is an eyeshadow brush. And then they had this, the K38 Crease Brush. Another eye brush that looks like a very good brush, actually. And then this one is the K32 Highlight Brush. So this is a highlighter brush, obviously. And this highlighter brush is here for $4.99. They had this set from Wet n Wild and Saved by the Bell. This is the Bayside Beauty's Lip Plumping Kit. And this is for $3.49 for the kit. And I think it's a lip gloss and a lip liner there again comes with the two products they had another product from the wet n wild spongebob collection this is the bff best friends forever primer spray this is here for $2.99 haven't seen a bunch of products from that collection and then they had this from the creme shop and the trolls collection this is the shea hand cream this is the travel friendly version this is for $4.99 and then they had this from origins the mega mushroom relief and resilience lotion this felt a little bit more liquidy though so i don't know why it's called a lotion but whatever and it did not have a price this was pretty exciting it is a men's cologne but i thought it was cool to find this is the dolce and gabbana intenso pour home and this one is here for $69.99 and then they had another ariana grande perfume this is the thank you next which i don't think we have seen before in tj maxx but this one is here for $24.99 I wanted to show you guys the clearance section in this TJ Maxx. They have a bunch of products. You can see the makeup products. They have quite a few hair products as well. Some brushes. They have this Zoeva brush here on clearance for $4.50. The clearance is not super great. Like the price drop is not great. So even when you get something on clearance, I mean, it's not that big of a difference, but still you are saving some money. 
They have a bunch of perfume over here as well. So definitely pick through everything. Like they have this Moogler one, which is a good find for $44. But I think that's originally like $49.99. So it's really not that big of a difference, but you're still saving some money. And then they have the eyeshadow palettes and more eye products over here on the clearance rack. On to Marshalls, and I wanted to show you guys the clearance rack in this store. They had a bunch more products than I found in the TJ Maxx stores. So here is this section. This is where all of the holiday products were that I found a lot of a couple weeks ago. But now they have all the clearance products. They have a bunch of perfumes right here. And then they have a couple of the nail polish sets and then hair tools. Then over here, they had the skincare products. So it looks like they have the Philosophy, the Gingerbread Man products over there. And then they have a bunch of hair products as well. But again, go through the section to see if you find anything you really, really like because it might be worth it. New product from Sephora. This is the Heat Activated Color Fader. I don't exactly know what this does, so let me know if you haven't used this. I don't know if it just fades the brighter color, I guess, but this is here for $3.99. And I had this from Aqua de Parmi, which is pretty cool because that is a very high-end brand. This is hair conditioner, and this is a mini one for $9.99. And then they also had the shampoo there in the back. So they have both the shampoo and the conditioner. And this one is here for $9.99 as well. Moving on to this part of the clearance section. It is just more of a mixture of everything. So you can see that little Henriksen set that we have seen before. They have a bunch of the Cara Beauty palettes. Some products from My Heart Revolution. They have the Marc Jacobs Cafe Shot um, foundation and concealer, Becca foundations, more products from iHeart Revolution, the Pacifica palette, the Burt's Bees foundation, some Honest Beauty, and then over here is some of the skincare clearance, and then they have the Beauty Blender foundation, and then a set from Calvin Klein, and then here is more of the makeup clearance on the side. So this includes lashes and a bunch of the lip and eye products so they're definitely putting a lot of products on clearance so definitely check it out they had this in these stores this is the morphe nikita palette this is for $19.99 this is the eyeshadow palette and this thing is pretty big so it is one of their larger palettes so this was the exciting find of the week they had this from CoverGirl. This is the Peach Bunch Highlighter Palette in the shade 100, and it is peach scented. I'm pretty sure we have seen this before, but this is $3.99. And then I had this from Becca, the Liquid and Light Highlight Kit. So it has the powder highlighter and then a liquid highlighter. I think this might be in Champagne Pop. I'm not sure. And this is $4.99. And then I had this from BH Cosmetics. This is the Char Chocolate Marshmallow Truffle Blush Palette. So this has four blushes for $4.99, and this is the darker palette. They have this set from Kapari. This is the Paradise Pout Lip Kit. So it has three different lip glosses, and they are in different scents. And this is here for $14.99, which is actually pretty pricey. And then they had this from Mario Badescu, the Lip Balm Trio. So they have three different lip balms, and that is $11.99. I wanted to show you guys these because I did just find the Morphe Nikita palette, but then I went around the corner and they had them all. They have that entire stack and then they had this stack over here. So these stores are getting so many of these palettes. New brush set from BH Cosmetics is the Flower Power brush set. It comes with five different brushes plus that cute bag, so that's a pretty good set. And this is here for $7.99, so that's a great deal. And then I had this from BH Cosmetics, which we have seen before, but I think I got confused because this is out of the packaging. So that's the Glowing and Grease Highlighter Palette. So I pulled one of the other ones, and yeah, we have definitely seen that before. I just got confused. And this is here for $5.99. They have this new one, and this is the Aspirus, I think, in... Aspen, and this is $5.99, the highlighter palette. They're all colorful highlights. New palette from My Heart Revolution. This is the Angel Heart palette. 
So this comes with 12 shades, mostly neutrals, for $4.99. And then they had new products from Makeup Obsession. This is the Warm Up Eyeshadow Palette with 8 shadows for $4.99. And then they had this Be Crazy About Lip Gloss Set. So it has 5 full-size lip glosses, and this is here for $3.99. More Nikita palettes from Morphe. This is the same store, but I just keep finding more. So they stacked them all on this rack as well. And then even more. So this store has like 50 Morphe and <laughs> Nikita palettes. If you want that palette, go to your stores. And then behind that, they had a bunch of the Anastasia Riviera palettes. I really like this palette, but it is popping up more. So I don't know if it is not selling at all, but this is $24.99. And then they had a bunch of the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizers as well. So a bunch of different shades here. I haven't seen a lot of these lately, but right here there are definitely a lot of them. And then they had a bunch of the Becca foundations as well. So I don't know why they're popping back up after the holidays. This was another exciting find of the week. This is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I've heard so many awesome things about this primer, so this was exciting. This is $14.99. They had this from Caviar, which I know is a high-end hair brand. This is the anti-aging frizz cream for $9.99. And then they had this set from Morphe and Cherry Coke collection. So this is the Bunch of Cherries three-piece beauty sponge set. So it comes with three different sponges in there, different colors for $7.99. They had these from Becca. This, I think, is a different store. They had these mini highlights in Moonstone and Opal, and these are $5.99. They had this. This is the full-size one in Rose Quartz, which I haven't seen in the normal packaging in a while, but this is $12.99. New lipstick shade in the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love. This is in the shade... Dusk, which I really, really like that shade for $5.99. This, I think, is popping back up. This is the NARS Highlighting Powder in Ibiza. So this is like a medium goldish for $12.99. New product from Sephora. This is a powder. This is the Powder Compact in the shade Medium for $5.99. They had this little holiday mascara from Kat Von D. This is the mini one for $6.99. And then they had this from CoverGirl, the Easy Breezy Brow Sculpt Set in the shade Honey Brown, and this is here for $2.99. And then they had this from e.l.f., the Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light, and this is here for $2.99. So I did buy one thing this week, and it was the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. I was really excited when I saw this. I did know it was in the stores, so I was kind of looking out for it, and I did pick it up. This was $14.99, which is more expensive for TJ Maxx, but this retails for $40, bucks, and this is a fairly new product, so I thought this was still a really good deal. I was trying to look up the batch codes for this, but I can't. So please let me know if you guys know how to find the batch codes for Ulla Henriksen. I have the batch code on the bottom if you can see that, but I could not look it up. So I think I want to do a little bit more research on it before I open it just in case it is expired or it is will be expiring soon. I mean, it's not opened or anything but I want to know when it was actually made. I don't know. Well, let me know if you guys know how to find the batch code for Ola Henriksen, but I'm really excited to try this one out. I am going back into the office, so I will be wearing more makeup. So that's why I did pick this up. If I was still working from home most days, I would not have picked this up because I don't really wear makeup. So I'm not going to really wear a primer, but since I am going back to the office and will be wearing more makeup, I figured this would definitely be worth it, and I'm really excited to try it out. That was the only makeup item I bought this week. I actually found a couple desk mats that I also bought. One is Friends-themed and one is Harry Potter-themed, two of my favorite things. So that was exciting, and that was it. So there were a lot of products on clearance because it is right after the holidays, so the stores are trying to get rid of everything in the stores and 
get in all of the new stuff. So definitely go check out your stores. Some of the clearance items get a little bit messy. So you kind of have to go before everybody else really sifts through it all. So definitely go to your stores sooner rather than later to get the good products before everybody opens everything and it's a giant mess. So definitely recommend going to check out your stores now. This month is going to be a little bit busier for me because I am going to be moving at the end of the month. So I will be packing everything up. I think I'm going to be doing a declutter series because I am moving, so I don't really need to take my entire collection with me. I did buy mostly everything I have in my collection, so I don't really want to be throwing much out because that's a waste of money for me. So it depends on what the product is. Something like in front of me, I have my foundations right here. Something like this, if I know that it's super old or it's just not my color or something like that, that I will probably throw out because I don't need to take that with me and pack it up if it's going to be expired soon or I'm just not going to wear it. So something like that I will probably go through more, but other things I'm probably not going to get rid of much just because I did pay for it with my own money, so I don't want to just get rid of it without using it. So that will be this month. We will have my empties series. I'm going to have my makeup empties and then my Bath & Body Works empties because I am, again, going through my collections and such. So all of that will be at the end with my empties. It'll be like right before I move empties. And then I will do my project pan update for 2021. I don't, I didn't really use much makeup actually towards the end of the quarter. So I don't think there's going to be much updates in the project pan, but we will see. At least those, a lot of those products that I did not finish will probably be going in my empties. So I guess that's good. That will be part of the decluttering. But again, we will see what I go through. But that will be the first few videos of 2022 after this one, of course. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing TJ Maxx and Marshall's videos for this month because I know I am going to be pretty busy on weekends packing, but if I need a break and go to the store for an hour or whatever and get enough footage, then maybe I will put up a video, a short video. Let me know your thoughts if you would rather see a short video or no video at all. Let me know. But again, we will kind of see. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful 2022. I am looking ahead to the new year. Very excited for things to come. So pretty excited for this channel. I want to start filming more again. So there will be more videos in the year once I get all situated at my <laughs> new place. But as always, let me know what you guys found in your stores. If you found anything exciting, if you picked anything up, let me know. I would love to discuss with you in the comment section down below. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.